today I'm going to show you how to make Sambuca swirls. They're delicious, highly alcoholic and look beautiful. You'll need 200 grams of Sambuca, 240 grams of Pontefract cakes, icing sugar for dusting, 200 grams of liquid glucose, 40 grams of powdered gelatin, 150 grams of caster sugar, and a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. Line a baking tray with greaseproof paper and put a pan on medium heat. Then separate the sambuca mixture into 170 grams and 30 grams. Add the larger amount to the pan. Then add 30 grams of powdered gelatin and stir. To the other pan on a medium heat, pour in the 30 grams of Sambuca, then add the caster sugar, the cream of tartar, and the liquid glucose. Once all of the gelatin has, has dissolved, remove the pan from the heat. Once the other mixture has come to the boil, you can then add the gelatin mixture. And then stir until both mixtures have been incorporated. Then add a, the food colouring and pour a thin, even layer onto the baking tray. You, want, you might want to brush the baking tray with some oil just to make sure that the, the greaseproof paper sticks so that it doesn't move around when you're spreading the mixture. Then put this in the fridge. Now you need to make the licorice layer. Put a small amount of water onto a medium heat and then cut the, the Pontefract cakes into small individual pieces. This will ensure that they all melt relatively quickly and all at the same time. Add these to the pan. You'll then want to add roughly 10 grams of powdered gelatin and stir until everything's melted. Then pass the mixture through a sieve, just in case there are some lumps in there. And then spread it, um, it's rather sticky, um, but just do your best. let these chill for at least four hours. Remove the licorice layer from the baking sheet, making sure to be careful not to rip it. Then take the Sambuca layer and cut a small rectangle roughly the same size as the licorice layer. Roughly line it up with the licorice and place it on top. Then you need to remove the baking paper from the Sambuca jelly. This is very difficult and very time consuming.
Then from the palm of your hand to your fingertips, roll the roll the sheet into a, a, a sausage shape. And then cut roughly centimetre width pieces to make your sambuca swirls. It's very sticky, um, but it's, it's very good at keeping its shape, so don't worry about if it squishes, um, about if it squashes out of shape, because it'll just bounce back. And then add this to your bowl of ice and sugar to dust it all over. This just uh, allows you to store them easier and to eat them easier as well, uh, so they don't stick to your hands. And then repeat this for the for the remainder of the remainder of the sweet roll sausage. Mm. Delicious, really alcoholic, lovely licorice flavour. Really recommend you try it. It's quite technically difficult, but really worth a go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share because it's the only way we can get this out to everyone. Comment, any suggestions for further videos would be great. Thank you for your support. We wouldn't be anywhere without you guys. So thank you so much. I'm off to get drunk on sweets.